Uncivilized Vitality, this is my toiletry kit. Uh, every time you go outdoors, you, you might have to answer the call of nature, and it's good to be able to do that in an ecologically uh, responsible manner. So you need to carry a toilet kit. It could be a something, something as simple as just a half a roll of toilet paper in a Ziploc bag. Uh, that's great. But here are the basic components of a, a responsible uh, toilet kit in the outdoors. One, I have it in, I guess this, I'll show you my case. This is uh, by Rough Enough. This is just a little, you can see how long it is. Uh, it's a really cool case. Camouflage was okay, but I had the red trim so I don't lose it. I keep a little carabiner on the pull loop of my kit so I can hang it from a tree branch or from my belt uh, or my pack when I'm out in the woods. And then if I have to answer any calls of nature, I just grab this case and off I go. Inside the case, there's a little zippered pocket at the top, and I'll show you what I have in there. Here are the minimum components for a personal hygiene toilet kit. A hand trowel, or a digging stick, or even a large spoon, something you can make your cat hole. It needs to be at least six inches deep, so you can use this trowel. You can dig down until it's about that deep, and then you know you've made the hole deep enough. Make it uh, circumference wide enough to do your business. Second thing that's an absolute must is a way to clean your hands, either uh, little little soap flakes if you have some running water, or just to be expedient, I keep a little bottle of hand sanitizer in there, and then I wash my hands when I get back to camp. I keep a Ziploc bag in case I am out in the winter, or I find an area where I can't pack my trash. I have to pack my trash out, I put it in this um, Ziploc bag, this hygiene bag. My wife's pitch kit is exactly the same, except she has two Ziploc bags and any feminine products that she needs uh, in case she has to tote those out. And then, of course, the major component is something to wipe with. I like to use these uh, dude wipes. They are uh, flushable. There's 18 of them here, and you can see right here it says it's a must for camping, fishing, and hiking. These dude wipes uh, are... You just lift this little flap up and they come out like wet wipes for a baby. Uh, I used wet wipes for babies for years and years and years until I found these dude wipes. I throw a fresh pack in there. In the winter, I'll take this pack out and keep it in my, my pants pocket so it stays warm. Frozen dude wipes are, not, uh, are no joke. And then I have in the zippered pouch up here, usually I have some hand sanitizer wipes. Uh, but right now I just have some extra dude wipes like single serving I guess that seems a weird way to say it so flush and go now in Michigan we have the luxury if I dig the cat hole six nine ten inches deep I can put a flushable wipe or toilet paper in the hole and uh, buried up and disguise so I've never been there and it will biodegrade it will be gone soon otherwise if you're in an area we have to pack it out that's what the Ziploc bag is for hand sanitizer trowel that is those are the minimum components necessary to make an effective personal toilet kit. I guess I can't close that with one hand, so there we go. Uh, yes. All right, that's it. That's my toilet kit. hope that was uh, helpful to you, and you can come up with your own toilet kit. Um, to be fair, I've also just stuffed some of those single-use dude wipes in my pocket and, and went out. And then if nature called and fought for the day, I'll use a stick to dig a hole and, and, and take care of it that way. So uh, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and share the channel. Leave a comment, hit the notifications. Thanks.